Golden Retriever in the movies. The Golden Retriever has appeared in films such as All Creatures Great and Small 2020, Stand By Me 1986, Sonic the Hedgehog 2020, The Art of Racing in the Rain 2019, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey 1993, City of Angels 1998, Airbud, Golden Receiver 1998, Breed standards may change over time. Both appearance standards and standards regarding breed character or working qualities may change. The works of art of the early years depict the most typical representatives of the breeds at that time. Comparing with the modern appearance of the breed, you will be able to assess how much the breed has changed over time. Also of interest are archival photographs of specific breeds, which you can find on the internet in specialized forums about the breed. Historical reference of the breed and subgroup. Retrievers are the youngest group of hunting dogs in their origin. The first retrievers were bred in the middle of the 19th century in England, when hunters with cops needed to combine search speed, stand strength and game towing. After all, the cops, looking for the shot game, often acquired the manner of breaking off the rack. A rather original solution was found. They began to take a second dog for hunting with the cop, whose duties included finding and bringing down game to the hunter. These dogs became known as retrievers. Currently, the group of retrievers unites six breeds, Labrador, Golden Retriever, Flat-Coated Retriever, Curly-Coated Retriever, Nova Scotia Retriever and Chesapeake Bear Retriever, but Labradors and Golden Retrievers remain the most numerous and favorite representatives of the group. The scientist and hunter Sabaneve wrote in his book Hunting Dogs that retrievers are called special bird dogs, whose duty is to look for dead or injured game. Practice has shown that the retrievers should have, first, to have a good, but exclusively lower instinct, that is, to look for a wounded bird on the trail, without being distracted by other birds. Second, to be of good stature, and of considerable strength, sufficient to carry a hare in the teeth from a great distance. Third, have good eyesight to see where a dead bird is flown. Fourth, willingly walk in water, even cold, and in dense thickets. Fifth, have a good character, be obedient and understanding. Six, do not crush the game, and bring the shot bird alive, without damage. To get a dog with such qualities, it was necessary to cross setters, spaniels, collies, medium-sized divers from the Labrador Peninsula and poodles, select the best of the best among the descendants of these mixed marriages, and again resort to interbreeding. As a result of selection, two main types of retrievers were obtained, smooth-coated and curly-coated. All modern breeds of retrievers are their direct descendants, ennobled by the efforts of many breeders. The world's best words beauty, strength, grace and harmony can be used to describe the golden retriever breed. The Golden Retriever is a beautiful, elegant dog with a strong build and good-natured appearance. The body is compact, the chest is deep. The coat is waterproof, with a well-developed undercoat. The richness of the coat and adorning hair are characteristic features of the breed. The color is rich golden in various shades with a sheen. Height at the withers from 53 to 61 centimeters, weight from 27 to 34 kilograms. The ancestors of the Golden Retriever are old Caucasian shepherd dogs, who were reliable guards of sheep flocks in Russia, slow and incorruptible. Lord Tweedmouth saw these dogs in the circus, they made an indelible impression on him, and he decided to buy them. The Lord brought the dogs to Scotland, where they became known as circus retrievers. Recent studies add little to the history of the origin of the breed. In addition, it is questioned that the slow, ferocious sheep guards could delight circus lovers. Apparently, the Golden Retriever was created by crossing a water tweed spaniel with medium-sized Newfoundlands, as well as with various setters. Some experts question the origin of Russian shepherds, believing that Lord Tweedmouth himself invented this legend in order to keep the secret of breeding his dogs. It is only known for certain that he used flat-coated retrievers, a tweed water spaniel, and a bloodhound in breeding. Lord Tweedmouth died in 1894. The number of dogs he received served as the basis for the Golden Retriever breed. And already from the end of the 18th century, the Golden Retriever begins its modern pedigree. The first Golden Retrievers were presented at an exhibition in England in 1900 under the name Retrievers. As an independent breed, they were approved by the English Kennel Club in 1913. Golden Retrievers have been imported to the United States since 1890, but the American Kennel Club recognized the breed only in 1932. It is currently one of the most popular breeds in the world. She is kept as a hunting dog and companion. In Scandinavia and Alaska, Golden Retrievers are used as draft dogs for sports competitions, in Argentina for police search service, and in New Zealand for hunting ducks and pheasants. The Golden Retriever works energetically and enthusiastically, it is valued for its docile disposition and very beautiful golden coloration. Friendly, calm, not selfish nature, love and trust towards people, especially children, make Golden an ideal companion. The Golden Retriever is very trusting, kind and intelligent, so he will not make a guard dog. He is absolutely not inherent in aggressiveness and the desire for dominance. 
Golden Retriever gets along well with cats and other dogs, and even the most vicious can be at peace with them. It can be kept both in the apartment and on the street. Appearance An attractive dog with a very good temperament. The extraordinary popularity of the breed is due to the excellent hunting qualities of this retriever, serving game combined with impeccable behavior and beauty. Despite the fact that retrievers often win training competitions, fluffy puppies are bred simply to have a nice friend who undoubtedly spices up our monotonous life. The golden retriever is very attached to the human family in which she lives. Some breeds are strongly attached to one person, others to all members of the human family, others may have a friendly attitude towards all people in general, and the fourth may not have close ties even with the owner. Golden retrievers are very strongly attached to all members of the human family in which they live. They are also quite happy with strangers. The attitude of any dog to strangers strongly depends on the breed of the pet, but even more strongly this attitude depends on the upbringing and socialization of a particular individual, while socialization in the early puppyhood of a pet is especially important in this regard. With children, golden retrievers get along just fine. However, regardless of the dog's friendly attitude towards children, a dog of any breed should not be left alone with small children. Some breeds of dogs are more relaxed about the behavior of young children and may not pay attention to semantics of children. However, it should be understood that dogs of all breeds, no matter how friendly they are, should be with children only under the supervision of the owner or adults, since in addition to the qualities of the breed in relation to children, there are also the individual characteristics of each dog, its upbringing and previous experience in communicating with children. Even these relationships are largely influenced by the behavior of children. With other dogs, golden retrievers also get along quite well, and they get along well with each other, unless, of course, other dogs show similar behavior. Different breeds of dogs treat their own kind differently. Some dogs will play and interact in every possible way with dogs they meet or live with. Other breeds may try to dominate or even attack similar four-legged ones. At the same time, the relationship between dogs can be very different from how a dog will react to people. The behavior of a dog in relation to other dogs and people depends not only on the breed, but also on the socialization of a particular individual. Communication Golden Retriever with small pets such as hamsters, domestic rats, squirrels, chinchillas and other rodents should be limited. Cats usually get along well. One of the advantages of the Golden Retriever breed is the undemanding of this breed to the owner's dog ownership experience. Some dog breeds are easier to keep and train, while others are more independent and even assertive and require an experienced owner. The Golden Retriever breed is perfect for inexperienced dog owners. But for those who get a dog for the first time, it is recommended to take special courses or study and detail the information about keeping dogs. The Golden Retriever is suitable for keeping in an apartment, but a country house is preferable. It should be borne in mind that they cannot stand loneliness and cannot be left alone even for a short time. The quality and quantity of wool allow the Golden Retriever to comfortably endure slight cold and short-term heat, but very low or high temperatures are no longer safe for the four-legged. Active loads should be avoided in the warm season. Learning and training. All dogs can be trained and trained, but some breeds remember and execute commands faster and more readily than other breeds. Different breeds need a different approach to training and education. Some breeds may appear to be poorly trainable or even stupid, however, in most cases, a dog breed's trainability is due to the stubborn or independent nature of the dog breeder individual. Also of great importance in the trainability of a dog is the role of what training methods the trainer uses for a particular breed. In the book The Intelligence of Dogs, published in 1994 and written by University of British Columbia Vancouver psychology professor Stanley Korn, the Golden Retriever is ranked 4 out of 80 in terms of learning ability. In this regard, the breed stands next to such breeds as the Border Collie, Poodle, German Shepherd, Doberman, and Labrador Retriever. In Professor Stanley Korn's book, the Golden Retriever is located in the group Dogs with Excellent Learning Abilities. Ability to understand a new command in less than 5 repetitions. Execution of the command from the first time, in 95% of cases and above. Tendency to bark. Among other things, breeds differ in the level of noise, or rather, in the frequency of their barking. Some breeds can bark all the time without stopping, and never get tired of barking at every stranger or strange dog that passes by your house or by herself. Other breeds bark only on business, when it is necessary in her opinion, and still others can only give a voice in exceptional cases. Golden Retriever can be attributed to the second group described above. This breed will definitely not bother you and your neighbors with unreasonable barking. But these dogs are not deprived of the desire to gnaw. The desire to gnaw and taste everything is common to puppies of all breeds, but as adults, different breeds have varying degrees of propensity to explore the world with their teeth. The Golden Retriever is highly prone to such pranks. Activity and Energy Level 
According to the level of charge and activity, breeds can also be divided into active, and calm or even lazy. An active dog will require constant walks, training and frequent mental stimulation from you. Calm and less energetic dogs will be happy with short walks around the house, and will gladly share your desire to lie on the couch at home. This feature should be taken into account when choosing a pet, since the unfulfilled needs of an active animal will be realized at home on the things and objects of your home. The amount of energy in the dog also determines with what desire and for how long the dog will play games with you or with your child under your supervision. The Golden Retriever is a very active and cheerful dog. They love to swim very much. In addition, many breeds have an innate desire to chase moving objects and animals. The degree of this desire may vary from breed to breed. If this innate instinct is highly developed in a dog, you need to carefully monitor the pet during a walk and keep it on a leash, since any moving object can provoke the dog to chase, even if it is a car that can harm the animal. At such moments the dog can disobey the call of the owner and switch all your attention to the moving target. In addition, such breeds pose an additional danger to small domestic animals and birds. The Golden Retriever has this instinct, although it has it, it is most often able to cope with it. Passion for Vagrancy and Love of Freedom some breeds have a tendency to cover long distances on their fours, for which they were bred, so these dogs, following their instinct, will not miss the opportunity to escape from you and run a couple of kilometers, despite your calls. Sled dogs, hounds and bloodhounds are mainly inclined to such walks. Golden Retrievers generally do not have this habit. Tendency to drool. The amount of saliva produced depends on the characteristics of the breed. Some breeds salivate, so much that they can leave marks on the carpet, on the sofa, on the floor and on you, other breeds also salivate, but this happens in much less quantities. The Golden Retriever has a tendency to over-salivate. Golden Retrievers also leave quite a lot of hair behind. The amount of dog hair in your home, and on your clothes, depends a lot on what breed you choose, some breeds shed all year round, others only seasonally, others hardly shed. This characteristic of the breed can be important depending on where you plan to keep the pet, whether members of your family are allergic to animal hair, and how important it is to you in general. Dog care. Some breeds may require a lot of grooming and attention due to co-characteristics, muzzle shape, habitat, or the general health of the breed. Golden Retrievers in this regard are quite average in terms of the complexity of the care of the dog. They do not require a lot of time for themselves. The coat of the Golden Retriever requires regular, but not laborious grooming. General health of the breed on a 10-point scale. The general health of dogs of this breed and the possibility of the appearance of genetic diseases in them can be assessed on a 10-point scale of 5 points. The Golden Retriever is a generally healthy breed. Irresponsible breeding to meet high demand has led to a prevalence of hereditary health problems in some breed lines, including allergic skin conditions, vision problems, and occasional nervousness. These problems rarely occur in dogs bred by responsible breeders. The average lifespan of a golden retriever is 10 to 13 years.